look at a two options here. I'm gonna look at something called face and bypass, which has been around for a long time. It's called face and bypass because you've got dampers here on the face of the coil, and you've got a damper here, which is bypassing the coil. So face and bypass. So what happens is the return air, or I'm sorry, the mixed air, so the air that is uh, OA plus return air, is some of it goes across the cooling coil, and we dry that out to a locked in temperature. We might have a temperature sensor there, drop locks it into 51 degrees. And then we bypass the air and use that air for reheat. And we do that at part low conditions. So um, in this scenario, you might have the bypassed air mixed with the 51 degree air. So the bypass is 8067, mixed air temperature we calculated earlier. Mixes with the 51 degrees at 60, then we get a degree here and a degree here. So this is a great way to do some reheat without have a new energy source. You're using the, the heat of the mixed air temperature. How that would look on the psychrometric chart is like this. That would be our coil leaving air temperature. That would be our bypass temperature. And the mixing of the two would fall on a line that connects the two. And it falls there. You get a few degrees of reheat. And we draw our 0.7 line here. And you can see there at the 0.7 part load, we're pretty darn close to the, to the design intent, which is good. Okay. So where you might, you know, fail on this scenario is if you had a lot of outdoor air, right? So you're bypassing air around the coil. So if you had like 50% outdoor air, you can get into a little bit of danger here. And I'm just going to kind of play around with this. So now your mixed air temperature is up here, right? I'm sorry, our bypass air is up here because it's 50% OA and it's mixing with this leaving coil temperature here. And it would fall along this line, which is represented there, a few degrees of heat. And I'm going through this kind of quick because I got a few more slides here and I want to leave time for questions, but please come back and watch this. You know, you can come back and sit through this and plot your psych chart and have all the fun you want, go through this stuff. So here you can see where it ends up at a 0.7 SHR, so still not too bad. You know, you're at 58-ish percent RH, which is better than having no face and bypass. Is that a problem? Again, who knows? Depends on your design intent, what the owner's expecting, the type of facility, et cetera.